Welcome back everyone to some more F1 2021 My Team Career Mode Season 7. We're entering the French Grand Prix around Circuit de Paul Ricard. We are going to try and extend our lead in the driver's standings and also the constructors and hopefully Michael Schumacher can have a better race than last time as we always say in every video. If you guys haven't been caught up with the series yet, make sure you check out the link in the description. There's a link to a playlist of all the videos we've made so far and let's head on to this race weekend. Before we continue though, I just want to make sure Sure you guys are subscribed to the channel make sure that red subscribe button down below is pressed hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next more f1 2021 my team and driver career mode videos and other gaming videos will be going up on my channel so please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out Thank you guys so much for your support and let's move on with the French Grand Prix. Before we continue, I just wanted to give you guys a little stat update. This is the uh, statistics, statistics of the career so far. Uh, two drivers championship victories, one constructors, 12 pole positions, uh, 1,586 total points scored, race wins 36, 59 podium finishes. So if we finish in the podium today, we will have a stunning result. 60 in total. Average finish is 6th. Of course, we struggled a lot in the early stages of the season. Average grid is also 12th. We struggled a lot in qualifying in the early stages of the season. Uh, of the career kilometers driven uh 35,444 fastest laps is 19 and 5,383 laps driven so yeah a lot of records to be broken right now so let's move on to the race weekend Paul Ricard, where can I say it's one of the stronger circuits on the calendar for us? Welcome to qualifying at the French Grand Prix. Free practice was overall a good good session. Overall, just practice the circuit like I always did. I'm just praying that the engine doesn't fail, knock on wood, because that is what usually happens around Paul Ricard. Um, we are opting for the first column of engine, uh, the most worn engine components, because I do have to you know, think about the whole 23 race season. And Paul Ricard is one of the tracks where I think we are confident enough uh, to survive on the first column of engines. Does need to be the best, like Baku, but uh, I think we can have a good enough time here in order to uh, with the worn components. Uh, maybe we can even get a podium. That's the goal. Uh, but in practice, we didn't get the fastest times. That's the interesting thing. I think we were a second off the pace of the fastest cars. I mean, we did get third in FP1, but we got like uh, down there in 12th, 13th in FP2. Uh, set a 126 something, and that was like a 1.1, 1.2 second gap to the leaders. I think was Stroll. Uh, not quite sure. Michael Schumacher was up there as well, but uh, I wasn't even close to Schumacher's pace so I'm hoping to prove myself better here in qualifying because it is raining so it is a little hopeful that the rain will slow everyone down a bit uh, that is the hope that we are a lot faster than the AI in the rain and it usually is the case because the AI struggles in the rain now moving on with qualifying then I think we had decent runs in practice prepared us well for the circuit i am losing time somewhere so i have to figure that out quickly i still haven't figured it out during free practice but uh we'll see um we will see Let's cross the line. Maybe we need to do one more lap. We'll see. Track is evolving rapidly towards the end of qualifying one. We get P2. Two tenths off Tictum. Yikes. A little nuisance from Aiken, but we made it through for approximately 4 tenths faster lap. We should be through. 
Hopefully. Oh man, that was close. What is people? Wait, what? Soft? Really? How did people measure that to perfection? You can't. Nah, that is some bull. That is some AI BS right there. Surely they weren't out on softs during the final stages. Oh well. Michael Schumacher is in tenth. I'm in fifteenth. That was close. That track evolved massively towards the end of the session. Um, Mazepin, Lungard, Eilid, Latifi, Joe, and Tiktum get knocked out. That was a good second insurance run. Let's move on and see what we can do in Q2. Here we go. Lap one of Q2. Coming across the line at P13. Not good enough. Okay, five tenths improved. Marvelous. Marvelous improvement. Let's cross the line, see where we sit. Okay, so it's not as good of a lap as I thought. 125.3 is the fastest lap we've set. We get knocked out by literally four hundredths out of Q2. Well, tactical P2, I'd say, just behind Esteban Ocon, who is our rival. So we did lose out to our rival by literally three thousandths. <laughs> Three thousandth of a second. It's too tight up here. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, it's too tight in the in the rankings here because everyone's in a similar car. Aiken, Schwartzman, Reichen, and Hamilton, myself, and Alcon are knocked out. So yeah, we'll start from P12. See what we can do here. Maybe others will take grid penalty and promote us. We'll see. Let's head on to race day. Hello and welcome to the circuit Paul Ricard, current home of the French Grand Prix and events dating all the way back to 1906. It's been held at many venues over the years, with famous moments from Dijon and Manicor, the feature of many a highlights reel. And let's hope we see more of those in the race today. Six lefts and nine rights give us a total of 15 corners here at the circuit Paul Ricard, and a lap covers an overall distance of 3.6 miles. Average speeds will be somewhere in the region of 142 miles per hour, and they'll be maxing out on the Mistral Strait at around 205 miles per hour. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Yuki Tsunoda lines up on pole position. Edging out Antonio Giovinazzi, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Michael Schumacher, George Russell and Sainz, Leclerc, Perez, Stroll and Lando Norris, Ocon, the Golden Boy, Lewis Hamilton and Raikkonen, Schwartzman, Aitken, Daniel Tictum, and Guan Yu Zhou, Latifi, Eilert, Lundgaard, and Nikita Mazepin. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. So let's take a look at our strategy then. It's a soft to hard strategy. I think I might try a hard to soft strategy, you know? Let's see. Um, we're going to be a bit slow. We might opt for this, mainly because we want to start on the slower tire, go long, and try to sprint at the end. Let's get going then. Interesting strategy call. Hopefully it's good enough to see us onto the podium again. A lights out and away we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay ahead, stay ahead. It's a decent start on the hearts. Maintaining position. It's absolute mayhem all around me. Oh. Don't mind me. I have to be... Okay, we survived. Vehicle condition. No issues with tire Good. wear for now. Keep taking care of them. Oh, we survived that mayhem. Jesus. Okay, Schwartzman's in the pits. It's time to really deploy everything we've got. Hard compound tires. We're going along. Come on, let's try and catch Alcon. I need his DRS to stay competitive. 
I would very much like to use the DRS. But if we don't, it's not a big deal. But I do want to make some moves early doors. Ooh, Hamilton's right behind me on the mediums. He is looking threatening. Let's see. A lot of vibrations through the tires, which is not a good sign. Hmm. Here we go, Hamilton's gonna have DRS. I'm gonna protect the inside line, make him go the long way around. Bro, I'm blocking the inside, are you kidding me? You can win that place back. Idiot. Like, clearly I'm blocking the inside. Anyway. Green flag. Oh, there's a yellow flag behind us. There's an Alfa Romeo spun. Portion, the virtual safety car. Virtual safety car. The okay, we can save some fuel now. Latifi's out. Must have been a crash. Because that was very sudden. Call of the yellow flags. And then the virtual safety car. VSC ending. We're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. Okay, we're back, we're back. Hamilton has caught up with me because VSE is broken in this game. Okay, we've got to try and fight him here. Oh my god, you idiot. You idiot. Corner cutting, you got to be kidding me. What was Hamilton thinking there? Was it my fault? I don't know. I don't think so. We'll see. Was his rear, uh, was his front axle ahead of mine? I don't think so. We lost a couple positions to the spin. Let's take a look at a wheel uh, tire conditions. It's looking okay, not the greatest though. Come on. Man, Hamilton, you. Absolute fraud. That's aimed at AI Hamilton, not the real one. Just want to make that clear. <laughs> VSC is out again. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. There's been an Who's out? Safety car. On the track. Sa oh god. There's debris everywhere here. Goodness me. So the officials are moving to a full safety car. Okay, full safety car. Box this lap. Confirmed. We'll receive you at the end of this lap. We're going in then. Ma'am. Okay, what do we down, say? Mediums? Down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. We're gonna go mediums and then soft, eh? Michael is coming in for a stop. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Okay, we're coming in for new mediums. Exceeding track, you gotta be kidding me. I was in the lane. Ah, this game is broken, man. I'm telling you, it's broken. Absolutely broken. Hold someone up. God dang it, my luck is just stupid as well. Oh my god, Ferraris are held up massively. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, three seconds. Not a bad pit stop. Get some heat into those tires. Not a bad pistol considering we double stacked. Okay, green flag. Overtook Leclerc. We gained a position early doors. Time to catch Sonoda. We're on equal tires, so it's all about my driving now. And the car, pretty much. Come on, let's go, let's go. That safety car is a lifeline. Let's make good use of it. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I am slow on the straights. Might be my downforce package. 
or it might be my worn engine components. Don't make me regret that decision, please. Come on, let's get Sonoda, please. Let's drive, drive, drive. There's traffic. People are slow because there's traffic. We've caught up a bit. Leclerc has a fastest lap. Excuse me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We kept position against Leclerc. Oh, someone must have damage or something. Gossinoda. Is there DRS yet? Not yet. Oh dear. Sonoda's trying to get his position back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Car, faster. Please. A little bit faster, please. The early rear ended Norris. That was a bit bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This car, give me the speed. Give me the raw pace of Michael Schumacher back in his youthful prime days, please. Drag race, come on. Oh, we're a little slow compared to the Mercedes power engine, I think. Or power unit. Okay, we can't beat them on raw pace. So we gotta beat them elsewhere. There we go. There we go, there we go. Giovinazzi, Perez, and Mazepin ahead. Alright, we got DRS here. Giovinazzi and Perez up at oh they're trying to move on Mazepin. Oh yellow flag. Virtual safety car. Oh eyelets out. Something happened. Okay. Interesting. I was on a roll. But we get held up by a VSC. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. All right, green flag running. The track is clear. Yes, dove it on Mazepin. Now we got free roam towards Giovinazzi and Paris. That was a marvelously well-timed VSC restart. Let's get this underway. Then let's get. Let's get closer up the field. Oh, oh, Another yellow flag. Oh, pronto. Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. What? You gotta be okay, kidding me. To give that position back. That was an illegal overtake. Screw you, buddy. Vehicle condition. No tie concerns at the moment. Just focus on the driving. Okay. We're back. That is some bull. The thing is, why am I angry? AI can do it on me, on your, on their yellow flags, and they don't get penalized. And if I do it, I get penalized. Like if someone spins and there's a yellow flag, the AI can overtake nilly willy. But I have to respect the wolf wave for yellow, which is absolutely stupid. That's where my anger is at. I know it's an illegal maneuver, but I don't know if it's a double wave yellow, if it's just a yellow flag. Oh, what a move on Hamilton. Sit back down, son. I'm risking it for the chocolate biscuit here. I think we might go to the softs at a later time. Oh, someone's making a move up ahead. Paris and Aiken. Oh, there's another spin. Hey, it's our friend Michael Schumacher up ahead against an Alpine. Paris on a 5 second time penalty. Okay, uh, Giovinazzi is going to have DRS. Going to provide him with a little squeeze. Going to go around the outside. See you later, son. Guan Yu Zhou just ahead. Paris has made a double overtake move. 
Splendid jump from him. I'm gonna try and make a move around the outside of Joe there. What a move. Let's get Aiken here. Another diving move here at the hairpin. Nice. Let's go. DRS, Perez. Oh, people are in. People are in. The medium tire runners are in. Okay, give me a second. Okay, lap 20 soft. Okay, let's try that. Consider let's take a look at our tire wear. If if we are okay with it, we might just stick on these for the rest of the Grand Prix. Come on, Perez. Oh, we are fourth. I didn't see that. We're net fourths then. Okay. Let's see. This is a marvelous drive then. Oh, Michael Schumacher and Perez are fighting it out here. Oh, Michael. Protect yourself, buddy. Ah, oh, he lost the position to Paris. Valiant effort, though. Come on, fight it back, buddy. Fight back, fight back, fight back, Michael. Just like the Halo says, keep fighting, man. Okay, Schumacher's in. Okay, Sonoda's in too. Everyone's in, minus Perez. He's going long. Are they doing another medium stint? That's the question. Ah, oh, DRS failure. That's fine. Hmm. Do I want to pit or do I want to brave it out on these old mediums? Do I trust my driving enough? I think we're going to get about 10% wear on everything. Doing the calculations in my head, guys. Hmm. I think I might stay out. I think I might stay out. I think 9 second gap to Alcon is large enough to keep it. Alright, last lap. There we go. We survived. Dang. We did the math right. They weren't really competitive at all. I think the AI just gave up when they were behind me. They're like, ah, screw it. Um, but yeah, Alcon's tires were literally gone, I think. Um, he was on fairly old hards anyway, because they pit way early. So his hards must be running out of life. Granted, my mediums are completely dead as well. 60% uh, wear is quite a lot, uh, but yeah, we've maintained a healthy gap to Alcon and Stroll. Two Alpine drivers on the podium today. And we're through. Let's see, fuel is okay. Sergio Perez with the fastest lap. But Schumacher, ooh, he's pushing on Giovinazzi. Please overtake Giovinazzi for P4. I'd be so happy. Come on, Shumi. The inner lion man, come on. How's it looking on the minimap? Oh, he's like literally behind me. Come on, Shumi, fight for it. We cross the line to finish P1. What a valiant drive. That was one of the greatest drives ever. Beautiful win in France. That's a race win and your second race win in a row. Fantastic job. So after a day of mixed fortunes up and down the field, we bring today's race to a close. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. 
Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. What a win. That was beautiful. That was one of the best drives I've had to this season. Uh, yeah, played the safety car to perfection and we did our tire management to perfection as well to secure P1 without having to pit again. I am so happy we were able to manage that. What a race win. This tastes great. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? I have to give it to the Golden Boy. They demonstrated a very delicate touch in close proximity to other cars, as well as showing a lot of maturity and patience in difficult situations. Ah, that was one good Grand Prix. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. P1 for us, Lance Stroll and Alcon in P2 and 3. So two Alpine drivers in the podium. Very interesting. Giovinazzi just about bests Schumacher, who were fighting at the end. Schumacher in fifth. Raikkonen ticked on Norris Russell and signs round out the points. Sonoda, Leclerc, Schwarzman, Perez, Joe, Aiken, Mar uh, Verstappen, Mazepin, and Hamilton are the finishers with Eilert, Lungard, and Latifi not finishing the race. Let's take a look at the standings then. How does that switch things up? 114 points for me. Leclerc is on 64. 178, 114 point gap. Uh, 117 point gap to Norris who's on 61. Wow. Um... 52 points for signs, so that's a bit down there, but Schumacher is slowly gaining p ground here. 37 points for him. Giovinazzi, two points ahead of him, so it's looking interesting now. We are still at the top, 215 points, 99 point gap to Ferrari, which I think is extending. I think it's an extending gap right now. Alpine are jumping up massively considering they just won so many points in this previous race. 94 points for them. Red Bull and McLaren tied on 70. Uh, otherwise, everything looks in order. Haas score points of 4. They're still last in the standings. Oh, so that was the thing. So towards the end of the race, just as I was about to cross the line, there was a... There was a warning that popped up. And it turns out Lewis Hamilton got terminal damage at the end. And... Uh, did not finish, but he classified as a finisher because he completed more than 70% of the race. Is that the limit, I think, or 75%? So, yeah, that's interesting. So he had a collision with Aiken and crashed out. I'll get the footage for that right now, and I'll show it to you guys. I don't know what that was all about, but yeah, good eye, Sue, good eye. I caught that in the last moment. All right, but I just don't know. I need to lie down after that Grand Prix. That was one of the greatest Grand Prix I think I've ever driven. The craziest one of the season so far. Safety car coming out, VSC coming out twice, and there were a lot of crashes. Like, Lungard left the Grand Prix on an engine failure, and then I think it was Latifi with a crash um, after the long straight. Um, the DRS straight and then I think Hamilton crashed there as well um, at the end of the Grand Prix on lap 27 and I think there was another person who crashed out um, I don't know but there was also that massive crash where we saw a bunch of debris on the track and I think that's what triggered the safety car it was like George Russell, Sonoda and Verstappen caught in between there and then Verstappen had a spin uh, that gave us a couple positions as well so yeah absolute bonkers of a Grand Prix and that was quite insane intense i really enjoyed that one i uh, managed to get p1 as well because we played everything to perfection we managed our tire as well and we managed to really uh, play uh, play out the strategy like to perfection that's all i can say really it was the brilliant brilliant execution of the strategy medium tires man those tire upgrades tire wear upgrades really helped us out there uh and we were able to finish in the top three P1 by the end of the French Grand Prix. That was difficult. Thank you to the car for surviving. And we move on to Austria next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe using the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. More F1 2021 My Team and Driver Career Mode videos as well as other gaming videos are going up on this channel. So please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on the next one. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll see you guys in the next Grand Prix and the next video of mine.